All right, let's talk about what is web monetization and how do you implement it for your website. And I'll include a code example here as well as an example website that actually does something interesting when you're monetizing content. So web monetization is a JavaScript browser API which allows the creation of a payment stream from a user agent to a website. So this means there's a stream of money that comes into your website from somebody that has a web monetization account and you are able to actually provide a better experience for that user in whatever way you deem necessary. So I've actually created a demo for this and it's on this site test or testwebmonetization.com slash demo and I'll go ahead and refresh this and we can see this in action. Okay, here we go. Monetization started and monetization progressed. And I'm getting these little fractions of a cent that are coming through to me every, I don't know, it seems like every couple of seconds. I'm not exactly sure how it works. Now, there's only one provider of web monetization right now, and you do need a browser plugin installed for this to work. Anyway, um, you can sign up for an account at coil.com. And then you can go to my profile settings and go to creator settings and actually create a payment pointer. I've created this before the video, but it is pretty self-explanatory. So what I'll do is actually copy this and I'll show you the source code behind this web monetization demo. So let's go view page source. Um, so the main key to this is you just need a simple meta tag uh, with name monetization and content of your payment pointer, right? So I've set that up and that's the simplest implementation. You just throw that in the header and anyone with a coil subscription will be able to see your content. So let's go back into the demo itself and we'll just click refresh and look what happens to the coil plugin here. On the first event, you'll see that Coil is paying out. And if I open up this little extension here, it says that Coil is paying. Now, how did I actually implement these monetization progress events? Let's go into the source code here and we'll make it a little larger. So I have a bunch of error messages here that can happen. For instance, if you don't have the Coil plugin installed, or um, a, a variety of other events. We're not gonna worry about that right now. There's also a little bit of error checking up here. The first thing I do is make sure that this is running from the HTTP protocol. So if you're running this from the file protocol, that is you're not running it from a server, your um, web monetization plugin is not gonna work. Um, also, if document monetization is false, that means that there's no plugin installed and uh, you're not going to be able to get any events. So I'll show an error for that as well. Finally, if you don't get a monetization event in six seconds, uh, I show yet another error. And I believe that says no monetization events occurred after six se seconds. Probably or it probably indicates that you have a web monetization extension but no active account. So let's go down here and look at the actual code for this. It's actually pretty simple. There is a event listener for monetization start right here. And that's just about the same syntax as a regular event listener, like for a click, uh, except that you do it within this monetization namespace. After that, I call a function callback right here. And when the monetization start event occurs, I actually draw that out into that container that I showed you up here. Um, this monetization start event occurred just uh, lets this error messaging know that monetization hasn't occurred in the first six seconds and it's likely not to work thereafter. Let's look at this monetization progress event document.monetization.addEventListener monetization progress. It's a very similar thing. You get an event here and the event itself has a detail uh, field in its object and I'm just printing that out in JSON over here. So again, you can go to test 
webmonetization.com and here's my little guy here. Oh, and he turns into a happy rich guy um, after monetization is on. And this will show you if you have the coil extension running and you're actually monetizing the page. Anyway, the thing that I really like about this is that this is proposed to be a browser standard uh, and there hopefully will be additional web monetization uh, providers in the future. So you'll have a choice of different ways to monetize that content. Perhaps there will also be a way to monetize content in a way that you request a certain amount for a, uh, an action that happens in the browser.